Hello, Yarnabees. Uh, I haven't been in this room in quite some time. Um, I have made kind of a decision. Um, I can't not talk to you guys. I have lots of stuff happening. Suddenly, it's all of a sudden things have started happening in my life. And I can't not share it with you. You guys have been with me. All my OGs have been with me since the beginning or close to the beginning. And it feels really awful not being able to share what's going on with me, with you. Um, so I can't wait till September. Because by the time September comes, I'll have forgotten half of the stuff that's happened. And... <laughs> You know, uh, so yeah, um, I think what really, really got me with your guys' comments is that you were saying that, um, well, A, that you're going to miss me and B, that being on video, um, when you guys watch my videos, it's like I'm sitting there with you having a cup of coffee and just chatting. And I loved that, you know, so I got my cup of coffee. Do you have yours? <laughs> so let's chat. Oh, so I haven't been in this room for a while because it's really depressing. Um, but my sister is going to be coming over next weekend and or this coming weekend. And she's going to help me rearrange this room again. It's a mess, you guys. It's a mess. I, I didn't let go of Sorry, that's my oven. <laughs> um, I didn't let go of all of my yarn. Okay. There were some of you that were saying, I can't believe that you took all of your yarn to the shop. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Because when I go to the shop now, I feel calm. Um, having my yarn around me makes me happy. Uh, and I love seeing the look on people's faces when they come in and go, oh, you have yarn. And then they feel the yarn and they, I know that they have the love of yarn that I do. So for me to be able to share it with them, it makes me feel good. So, yeah. But like I said, I don't like, <laughs> oh, I can't lift it up. Hang on. Let me see if I can. Oh, <laughs> there we go. See all this? <laughs> this is my mess that I have to deal with. Okay. So I didn't, hang on. I got to cover you guys up for a second so I can put you back on my, oh, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, don't mean to make you sick. Okay, so I accidentally turned off my phone. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, so you can see that I do still have some of my yarn. Um, and I'm okay with that. Because when I start putting in my big yarn orders, um, I'm going to still be able to use some of that yarn too. Uh, so it's just kind of a shift. But this chaos in here has got to be fixed because I, I what I want to do is I want to put a bed in here and then have like some yarn here. Just have some yarn here uh, so that if, if and when my family comes over, they'll have a bed to sleep on in here. So this will kind of be the guest room slash yarn room. Um, so yeah. Uh, okay, so some news is that I know my life is chaos right now with all the financial issues that George and I have been having lately. We're still waiting for the bank to make their decision as to what they're going to do. Um, but if all goes well, we won't have to sell the house <clears throat> for a couple of years. So in that time, we'll be able to get our ducks in a row and get the house ready for sale and all of that kind of stuff. So, um, 
it may seem like bad timing, but I don't think it is. Uh, we have decided to expand the shop. Yeah. I've had quite a few yarnies come into the shop and say to me, there's nowhere here to buy yarn. There's nowhere here to come and just sit and crochet or knit. Uh, the groups, the, the yarny groups, uh, are meeting at the library across the street. I have no idea how much they're paying for that room. I have a, a, a friend lady, a lady friend of mine at the Chamber of Commerce that's going to go and ask for me because I'm too chicken. She's been doing this constantly. <sighs> She's driving me crazy. <clears throat> um... So anyway, she's going to go and ask for me to find out how much they're renting that room from for. Because uh, I am going to, I've, I've already started, they're going to knock out the wall between my shop and the shop beside me. Um, I've got a video clip explaining it and showing you, so I'll show that in a minute. Um, they're going to knock out the wall and I have, I just bought a used electric fireplace I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to put a carpet down and I'm going to have you know twinkle lights up on the ceiling I'm going to have um, a dining table in there with some big comfy chairs and I what I think I'm going to do is a drop-in fee um, or have the yarn groups pay you know a, a fee for their I think they go in there Thursdays between 10 and 12 so you know I get them to pay find out how much they're paying now and then maybe drop it down a little bit uh and have them pay that to come in for the two hours a week um at least where I am there's a co the coffee row is right there uh, in the building so they can go grab their cup of coffee or their tea and they can bring it into my shop and they can sit down in comfortable chairs, not the chairs that they've got going on over there, with a really nice ambiance uh, and crochet with their friends, you know, and do like a bitch and stitch or whatever it's, they call it. Um, I think it's going to be a really nice atmosphere for them. Um, and then my shop is going to be in the other side of the room and I'm going to be right there. You know, it's, you know, I'm going to be able to teach classes in there. Uh, I'm going to be able to just have it more of a community place. Um, so I'm really excited about it. Once they knock down the wall, I'm going to go in there and paint and, uh, get it all set up. And I'm just, I'm so pumped. Yes, it's going to be double my rent, but I'll also be able to generate a little bit of income by doing a drop-in fee. Uh, so I'm excited. And once I get the word out, I'm, I, I, people are already, I've already told people and they're excited too. So, um, yeah, there's a lady that comes into my shop and She's saying that her husband got injured and he's on, um, I don't know if he's on disability or if he's uh, just healing from his injuries, but she's driving, or he's driving her crazy <laughs> and she has nowhere in the house to go to really crochet and just be able to just sin, right? So I told her, I said, hey, you can come here, you know, so... Uh, so she's really excited about that. So I'm, I'm, I, in my gut, I feel like this is the right decision, that this is a good thing and that the community will embrace this and, uh, and it's going to be good. I, I, George and I have both have a really good feeling about it. I was scared to death when I decided to make, made that decision to do it. I'm still scared, <laughs> but I, I have to have faith that it's going to work and just go for it and just go for it.
So that's what we're doing. So I will show you a clip right now of what I'm talking about and I will be right back. Okay, so this is my shop, right? This is my new space. So, I mean, this space is a little bit bigger than my actual space. They're taking out this wall. This whole wall is coming down. And it's going to open up. Like, oh, all of that. So, yeah. So all of this is coming down and it's going to be over here. Um, and then all of my yarn is going in there. So my plan is this is going to be yarn. I'm going to have my fireplace here and I'm going to have yarn coming up and around and down. This is going to be all open, right? Um, I'll send you a picture of something that I'm going to be putting like here, oh, let's see, here, here, and here. Um, I think it's going to look really cool. It's going to, there are these tall plant stands that kind of come up and around. And then up here, I'm going to hang twinkle lights going across all the way back. That's my plan. That's my plan. I hope it's a good plan. I'm hoping it's going to actually work out. <gasps> Stress! So, there you go. Um, I'm going to be, I, I got to get some more paint, but I'm going to paint the walls a sage green. Uh, so it's going to be really nice and homey and, you know. Um, so, yeah. So that's, I'm excited. Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> but I will take you guys along with that journey, take you along the journey with me. Um, I will have the camera set up for, I will do, um, you know, like sped up stuff and, uh, the transitioning and all of that. I can't not share that with you guys, right? It's yarny related, but it's also shop related and, you know, poo poo to the naysayers. <laughs> like, if you don't want to watch that kind of stuff, don't. <laughs> it's like, I, you know, after talking to you guys, um, it really made me feel better about the content that I put out. And a lot of you have said, I don't care what you put on your channel as long as you're in front of me, just talking to me. It's all good. You know, it's like your friend in my living room or my wherever. You know that's just having coffee with me and um you know so that that warmed my heart so yeah so i'm gonna show you guys everything um i'm gonna add some more stuff into it i without getting emotional because you know me <laughs> um i'm i'm excited about my channel again um i have a renewed feeling of I kind of feel the way I did in the beginning of my channel. You know, it's like the onion peels coming off, the layers are coming off, and I'm going, I'm I'm good to go, right? Like I I I've got some ideas. Um before I was just I was feeling really low and I I'm sorry. You know, I feel I feel bad that um I showed that part of you part of me to you um I had a real weak moment I really did and you guys really helped lift me out of that like you always do you guys are always there for me I love you guys so much you know um I I have to say thank you to the channels that have given me a shout out uh you guys I love you Mwah. I really love you. Um, and there's some channels I didn't even know about. <laughs> so, you know, it was like, that was awesome. Um, so, yeah. I, I yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm planning a bunch of things. And we're going to be amping up to Christmas soon. So, yeah. Oh, I have, you know, I've always wanted to join 
I don't know what you guys call it down in the States. I think it's like a county fairs or something like that, where you put your, your crocheted stuff in to see if you win a ribbon. We didn't have that here, but I just found out that there's uh, one just, actually it's where George and I used to do some of our craft fairs at the uh, Cowichan exhibition. I didn't know, but they have something like that there. And right now, they are starting to take entries for it. And I'm going, oh, I'm going to try it. It's only a dollar an entry, right? And they have, what is it? Amigurumi's one, socks are another, uh, adult wearables, baby wearables. Um, they have a whole bunch of different categories. And they have a category for seniors, and then they have a category for everybody else. And I think they might even have a category for kids. Um, so I'm thinking I might just do that. I've never done that before. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys remember this. Uh, it's a baby sweater I did and it was by Simona, Simona's Crochet. I'll leave her link down below. Um, and I gave this sweater as a donation to woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, uh, Billy's Crafty Floridian. She was doing a uh, auction? No. Is that what it's called? I can't remember now. But anyways, Lynette from Charm Grammy won it. Um, or uh, not won it, but she, she bid on it. And so she got it. Um, so I loved that sweater. I really loved the color and the stitch it just it pops right like it just I love it it's like a happy sweater so I decided that I'm going to do another one and I start I just started it um this is the yoke start of the yoke and I'm going to enter this in the baby cloth clothing category at the fair I'm hoping it's going to be good. Uh, I'm using the Sweet Roll Sweet Roll Vivid. And this, I believe, is the electric. It's electric. Yeah, it's electric. Uh, so, yeah. So, I'm going to I'm gonna do that. And if I've got time, I'm, I'm thinking about doing one of my emotional support pickles, like a big one, um, for the Amigurumi. And then... I'm thinking if I have time, I'm going to try to do a Jacob's Ladder sweater for the adult category. Can I do it? <laughs> I've got I've got some time. I think it's September, the first week of September that I have to get it in. So between getting my shop expanded and ready to go <laughs> and doing this, you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, the amigurumi for the shop may have to go on the wayside because the pickles are going like crazy. You guys, I mean, I just make one. I put it out. Boom, it's gone. I, I can't keep up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a tote here. And I'm just going to start making pickles and chicken nuggets or whatever. And just putting them in the tote and collecting them for Christmas because I have a feeling that Christmas time might be a little nuts at the store so I want to make sure that I've got some stock for that my main concern right now is getting in the yarn uh, but the funny thing is I was all panicky because I'm going where am I gonna get all the money for my stock where am I going to get the money to expand my shop like I, I was just like freaking out and wondering if I was making the right decision and then all of a sudden I must have handed it up because all of a sudden a lady came in the shop and said I have a huge amount of yarn at home that I want to sell and I was like uh, okay. Um, then the lady that used to have yarn in the shop across from me when COVID was going on and everything, she had a lot of wool and 
uh, specialty yarn. She came in and she said, I still have a lot of stock from when I have my shop. Um, if you're willing, if you want to buy it. And I'm like, okay. And then just as I was speaking here right now, I just got a message from, um, oh my goodness. Rosalie. Oh, Rosalie from Yarn It Out. Uh, she's been off YouTube for a while. Um, I think she just sent me a message saying I'm selling my yarn. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Like, okay, this is happening. Like, <laughs> so, yeah. So, here we go. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, so, when I when when I start getting my shop and everything all together, then I'm I'm gonna start, or I'm going as I'm doing that, I'm going to be making these things for the fair, and then I'm gonna just be stockpiling, uh, stuff for Christmas. So, cause I just felt like I was all over the place, you guys. Like I, I didn't have time to get stuff for the shop ready. I didn't, you know, like I was starting to feel overwhelmed. Uh, so. That's not going to happen. I'm not going to overwhelm myself. I'm just going to do what I can and enjoy the process. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I had other things I wanted to talk to you guys about. What the heck was it? Don't remember. But that's okay. I'm telling you, my brain, my brain. It's just my brain. Uh, so anyway, I guess that's all. That's that's a long enough video, I think, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, uh, thank you so much for joining me. I love you all. Um, I'd appreciate it if you would do all the things, you know, like, subscribe. You don't have to share it if you don't want to. Uh, go to my Facebook page, Crochet A Canada. Uh, join my Facebook page. If you're on Facebook, uh, I have an Instagram. You can go to, I, I'm trying really hard to keep up with my Instagram, but it's hard. <laughs> um, and yeah, and I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will talk to you guys soon. Okay. Bye.